Nearly 30 years ago, sustainability was first defined. Sustainability, development that meets the needs of present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. But at UC Davis, the work was already underway. Our faculty have already been working on sustainability before it became a big buzzword. And the farmers were looking to science for answers. Farmers are always looking for ways to improve their sustainability, and we needed to have some science behind it. And at the same time, future scientists were being born. To my generation, sustainability is the issue. You know, we grew up in sort of the 90s, um, you know, when environmental problems are really first starting to make big headlines, big global problems, you know, like the hole in the ozone layer and the beginnings of climate change and things like that. So increasingly we're realizing that the scale of these problems is really great, but at the same time, you know, we're making such rapid scientific advances and really great discoveries, so we're also seeing that our ability to solve these problems is also increasing rapidly. Today, the Agricultural Sustainability Institute is where those problems are being solved. ASI is the place that people come together to do more together than any of us can do by ourselves. That's what we envisioned with the Ag Sustainability Institute, that it would bring people together, working together, that could come up with solutions. Climate, water, energy, nutrition, health, those all draw on lots of different disciplines. And that includes the economic piece, that includes the social piece, that includes the ecological piece. And we're not going to solve these complex problems with single discipline solutions or with single perspectives. It's going to take teams of people thinking across their silos. We're also the bridge to California so that we're working on things that really matter for Californians in a big way. It's absolutely critical for my work and I know our work here in Sacramento to have this kind of neutral, science-based, practitioner-based um, work that's happening that can just inform us all on what we need to do in the future and how those different impacts can play out. The research that they're doing is really groundbreaking because in many ways they're the first group to really sit back and take a long-term view of sustainability. Long-term research platforms are really, really important. Money from donors really allow us to look into the future by maintaining this long-term research. So my research focuses on the design and development of new cropping systems. Beautiful structure, right? So it's really using the sources of funding to be able to think outside of the box of what the agriculture of the 21st century should look like. We're just one valley over from Silicon Valley. The stuff I've been talking about, it's very information intensive. Our big challenge is to figure out, you know, what do each of those genes do, who do they belong to, and then how do we use all that knowledge to achieve the goals that we want to achieve. It's about intense use of knowledge. Gigabytes and terabytes of data. Um, that we have to sort of try to make sense of. And I think that's where some of these real technological innovations can come into play. And then you would take a subsample from here. I am optimistic. I can't do what I do without being optimistic. I mean, really my source of hope comes from the amazing researchers I get to talk to here at UC Davis, their commitment to their disciplines, and then to the growers who are, I think, at the front lines. With a growing population, with climate change, it's not going to be easy, but yes, I think we can do it. With, with the kind of research that's coming out of UC Davis, yes. So ASI and the students that they're helping to cultivate, like those in my degree program, the Sustainable Agriculture and Food Systems program, they are incredibly prepared and well-equipped to take a very holistic approach to sustainable agriculture and food systems. These things, they're not pie in the sky, we're doing it now. The thing is, come and see it, we'll show you, and let's do a bunch more of it. That's the point. We need to do more. And the challenges are great, um, but so is what we've been able to do, you know, and what we can do in the future. It's really critical. It's the most critical investment we can do for California. 